What is up guys? It has been a while since we've done a Grand Theft Auto online video, but we're here with three other guys and it looks like there's someone on the mic. I still don't know how to mute people on Grand Theft Auto. It's still pretty weird, so I guess we're just gonna have to listen to that person until we get into the game. I think if you if you I, I don't know how to if you guys know how to mute people on Grand Theft Auto, please let me know because I don't know how to mute people. But it looks like we're doing the survival. Uh. Um, Benko got a GTA. Okay. Prepare for the first wave. I guess we can do the first wave. Cause, he said that's bank. That's bank. Cause uh, I just don't think um, I don't think survival is going to be something you guys would want to sit through. Survival does get very, very, very dull. Her name is Howdy. Take out the enemy. So I guess we can do the first, the first round, and then I'll just skip to the next part of the video because I do not want you guys to sit through ten rounds. Ten rounds of this. I thought her name was Rowdy. I don't even know what this person is talking about. And no, it's not that far yet. Where we took that guy out. Oh yeah, I forgot. In the early rounds, you could they easily slay these too. guys. It's like your bullets take 90 damage. It's ridiculous. Looks like all these guys are up here. Alright. Take you out. Swim back here. <laughs> nah, I at? Where's this guy they at? just taste like meat. Like they, they don't Where? healthy shit. Where's this guy at? All right. All right. Wow, we are taking these guys out. But I'm just gonna complete wave one, and then uh, we'll we'll skip ahead to the next part. Because the survival, if I literally do ten rounds of survival, that'll be one one episode, and I don't know, I don't know how long this is gonna take to render out. Maybe four hours. And it's one more. Let's take out the shotgun and blow his head off. Where is this guy at? Here he is. All right. There we go. That was just wave one for you guys. 22 kills total. We had 13. Oh, other guy I had five and up. another guy had that. I guess we can do one more round. Let's do one more <laughs> round just in case I don't find anything after I leave this lobby. And it doesn't matter You're if I get put in a bad you. sport. It'll actually be pretty fun being a bad sport because I've never been in a bad sport lobby out of all the time Grand Theft Auto has been released. I've never been in the bad sport lobby. I've blown up so many cars, did so many dirty things, and I still have yet to get inside the bad sport lobby. So maybe we should make a video aiming towards going for that bad sport lobby. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think. Now let's figure out where these guys are at. It's like the guys right over here. Oh, they're up. Okay. This map is just really weird. I don't think I've done survival on this map. It looks familiar, but I don't know. I think it's a guy right there. Take you out. Take these two guys out. This gun is just so good. It's so good at long range. Alright, where are you at, buddy? Take him out. We're almost done with round two. Take him out. They're spawning all over the place, man. I really want to get into streaming as well. I'd love to get into uh, Twitch streaming. Why can I not jump up there? Because I think it'll be pretty fun if I'm not actually, if I don't like have a video up for that day. I think uh, getting on Twitch and streaming it, some of you guys, if you uh, have the time, you can just come out and watch the stream. And I'll make sure I save, save some for uh, stream highlights and things like that. 
We're getting ready to die. We need to run, 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 run. I love snacks, man. Snacks. There we go. Take him out. Take out the remaining enemy. And then, bam, we can fast forward to the next part of the video. Just because I don't want you guys to sit and watch the whole survival. Survivals can be fun, but it definitely gets repetitive um, after a few rounds. But you do get a huge payout if you make it to level 10. I believe it's 20k. 20k or 10k? I don't know. It, let me know if you think it's a uh, really good payout for doing these survivals. We got 13 kills again, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this little intro, little part, you know. Maybe I might do one more round off off camera, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright guys, we joined a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful race. Amazing and insane race in the highest of Los Santos City, in the heart of Los Santos City, downtown test your balls in the in these stunt jumps for boost last nitro set to gta race don't forget to press l1 to bookmark and play with your friends search my job on social club nick alfie i guess that's what it is and it looks like he did exactly what our content creator created so it looks like we got we got one and oh so it's just gonna look like a one-on-one -on -one. Hopefully there isn't too many, uh, hopefully it's not going to be too many, um, too many laps because some people tend to set, uh, three laps and two laps when it's only a limited amount of people inside the lobby, which really waters down the enjoyment, but I'm still going to be entertaining for you guys. Hopefully I am entertaining for you guys. You guys are going to be entertained because we got a GTA race on our hand. He's using his XF. And I'm using the Bugatti. Let's see which one is going to be the victor. All right, here we go. Three laps. So let's see how long. So it's only 20 checkpoints, so I guess. Oh, we were all over the place. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Oh. You see, with the XF, it's definitely more difficult to spin those type of cars out because that car, that car has a nice body and built to it. So it's definitely, holy guacamole, dude. We are landing on rooftops. Oh, we landed on the rooftop. That is unfortunate for us. We landed on a rooftop. Come on, man. This is not Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Come on, man. Do not go back over there. Ah, it's so hard to control the Bugatti sometimes. Look at this. Alright. Let's see if we can catch up to this guy now. Let's get one of these repairs and repair our own car. Like, how do you do that, man? I see a lot of people on Grand Theft Auto. How do you control your Bugatti? Like, I see these guys literally destroy the course with their Bugatti. And I'm like, how did you not spin out? How did you not crash? into one of these buildings or something man it's so hard to control this car even with maxed out settings i think it it's good to max it out but then at the same time it's just it's just crazy on how you on how you can't control this car at some point you see it's doing really good right now but he committed suicide and we're over jumping it no we're not going to respawn in no what are you doing no come on come on come on come on come on Oh my goodness, we had the lead. We were, you see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. We're literally overshooting every time we get on those stunts. I'm, I, sh I was really, really, really thinking about getting the Zentorno, but I really wanted to use the Bugatti. It's just so much. Let, all right, let's slow down a little bit. All right, I think that's perfect. You see, he's overshooting it as well. You kind of want to have a nice little nice little lead ah but at least we stopped like that so it looks like this guy isn't too good he is doing too good uh either because he he had a nice lead on us as well i'm surprised we're actually right behind us oh no i saw it that's why i said look i literally seen the guy throw a bomb because he's so scared we're gonna come we're gonna come and beat him 
let's let's uh let's take this easy come on do not go back over there that's what i'm talking about you want to really be nice and steady with those jumps man it's been a while since we we've raced uh a, a jump style jump style race did we miss a checkpoint no we didn't okay because for some weird reason we're missing checkpoints and i don't want to continue missing some checkpoints man we really need to uh step our game up you see you just see that's exactly what I'm talking about. This thing is so wild. It's a really good car, but the damn thing is so wild. It's hard to control at times, which really screws you out of races. We shouldn't be doing that, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> oh, baby, let's just go ahead and respawn. This guy is so far ahead of us right now. It's literally ridiculous. Let's just take a subtle approach. You know, nothing, nothing too spectacular. Just go ahead and do that. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. All right. And it looks like, uh, it looks like there's one more lap left. Come on, we can do it. Maybe if this guy screws up or something. Look at that, man. Look at this. Oh, we're gonna blow up! We're gonna blow up! <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. This is absolutely crazy. I wish the guy would've waited for more people. We're spawning up in the air. I wish he would've waited for a little bit more people. It would've been a nice, nice fun race. Why are those all the way out there when there's a checkpoint to turn? Interesting. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys are thinking about March 18th, the official day for Heist, which is going to be insane. I cannot wait. We are going to get the Heist rocking and rolling. We're going to see what it's all about. I've been theorizing and figuring out maybe you get about, about 30K a Heist. That's what I'm thinking. Not 30K. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. 300k i'm thinking anywhere from as low as 100k to as high as 500k depending on the succession of how you did it because you still have to remember maybe you will get one million dollars from the actual heist but you have to remember the cut you know you have to remember the pay cut of uh of each person who's uh participating in the heist as well so let's say you actually succeeded and you got $1 million from the total heist. But let's say one person did it a lot better than everybody else. So his cut turns out to be 20%. And another guy turned out to be 14%, 18%. You know, I, I really want to see how they're going to implement that within GTA. Because I really want to see the better you perform the heist, the more money you get out of it. And what happens when all of you perform at a 20% cut rate? You know, does that mean everybody's going to be milked down to about 200K or 100K? You know, maybe 90, 90K? You know, you never really know. But I'm really interested to see on how that's going to work out and how that's going to pan out. Because I just really want to see how much money we're going to be getting from the heist. But that was a very, very, very fun race. Shout out to this guy and shout out to the guy that created it. It was very fun. Let's make sure we bookmark that and revisit it. But let's go ahead and like it. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Grand Theft Auto. I'm definitely been more motivated to upload more videos and just have a great time on Grand Theft Auto and many other games as well, such as Call of Duty and uh, The Last of Us and everything like that. Um, in the near future, I'm going to be posting up a lot of more let's plays and a lot more variety of games just to mix it up on the channel bringing everything new make sure you guys stay connected on my instagram and my twitter uploading daily on that one as well pretty much and i'm um, having a blast with the whole youtube thing i'm still uh still trying to find my mold in the mix and everything but i'm really having a fun time and i'm really enjoying it it's a nice fun hobby that i love doing and i'm going to continue to try to do it every single last day even on Sunday and Monday when the house is really crowded and loud with people outside doing constructive work or whatever they're doing out there. Both of you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Grand Theft Auto Online real soon. Peace out.